Welcome to this review lesson on polygons. A polygon is a closed figure with three or more straight lines or straight sides. And the sides are line segments that form the shape. A vertex, or if you're talking about more than one, it's vertices, that's the plural form of vertex, are the points where the sides meet. All right, so these are sides, they're line segments, and then these are the vertices. Each one is a vertex. So this polygon has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five sides and five vertices. Some other words you may see when talking about polygons. Equilateral means a polygon with all equal sides. Equiangular means a polygon with all equal angles. A regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral, so it has all equal sides, and it's equiangular. All right, so let's look at some examples below. Number one, is this shape a polygon? The answer to that would be no, because it has a curved edge. Polygons only have straight sides. All right, number two, is this shape a polygon? That would be yes. It's a closed figure. It has all straight sides. That is a polygon. Okay, pause the video now and try three through six by yourself. All right, number three, is this polygon equilateral? So if you remember, these markings mean congruent sides. So since all the sides are congruent, this is, yes, it's an equilateral triangle. Number four, is this polygon equiangular? That would be no because it doesn't have congruency marks on all the angles. So it's not equal angular. Number five, mark the polygon to show that it is a regular polygon. So we would need to mark all the sides as equal and all the angles as equal. Because regular means all equal sides and all equal angles. All right, and then number six, is this shape a polygon? That would be no, because it is not a closed figure. All right, let's continue on. Polygon notes continued. So let's talk about the sum of interior angles of a polygon. So to determine the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, that just means all of the angles inside added up, what do they equal? You can use the formula n minus 2 times 180. And n stands for the number of sides. Okay, so let's look at some different polygons. So first of all, let's talk about the names of the polygons. So if you have three sides, of course that's a triangle. Four sides would be a quadrilateral. Pause the video now and see if you can fill in any of the other polygon names. Okay, five is a pentagon. Six is a hexagon. Seven is a heptagon. Eight is an octagon. Nine is a nonagon. Ten is a decagon. And eleven is a dodecagon. Okay, so let's look at the sum of the interior angles of these shapes. So we already know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees 
But let's prove it using that formula above. So the formula says n minus 2. n, remember, is the number of sides, so 3 minus 2 times 180. So 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 times 180 still gives us 180. So the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. Okay, so let's try that with the other polygons. So for a quadrilateral, 4 times 2, 4 minus 2 times 180. And then for a pentagon, 5 minus 2 times 180. All right, so 4 minus 2 times 180, that would be 360. 5 minus 2 times 180, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 times 180 is 540. Pause the video now and fill in the rest of this chart by yourself. Okay, so for a hexagon, you should have gotten 720. For a heptagon, 900. For an octagon, 1080 degrees. For a nonagon, 1260 degrees. For a decagon, 1440 degrees. And for a dodecagon, eighteen hundred degrees. And notice we skipped eleven. There's really not a particular name for a polygon with eleven sets. All right, let's try some examples below. So number one, what type of polygon is shown? So we can count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a hexagon. Number two says to solve for x. So first of all, we need to determine how many sides this has. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. So that means the sum of the interior angles see 7 should be 900 so I need to add up all the angles that I was given so I'm going to add them up in my calculator now 113 plus 130 plus 105 plus 152 plus 133 plus 143 and I get 776 and then I need to take that and subtract it from 900 to see how many degrees I have left over. And I got 124. So this angle here is 124 degrees. Okay, the next example is very similar. So find the measure of the missing angle. So this picture has, this polygon has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. So let me scroll back up. So five sides, Pentagon has a 540 degrees. So let's add up the angles that we were given. So 165 plus 150 plus 100 plus 82. And that gives me 497. I'm going to subtract that and I get 43 degrees. So this angle is 43 degrees. All right, and then for the last example, solve for y. So this has four sides. So let's scroll back up. Four sides has 360 degrees. So this one, I have variables, and I have more than one variable. So I'm going to set up an expression first that represents the angles. So the expression is going to be 105 plus y plus 180 minus y plus y. And I'm going to set that expression equal to 360. Okay, so now I want to combine my like terms. So I have y minus y. Well, that cancels out. 
and then I have one Y left. I'm going to bring that down. And then I have 105 plus 180, which gives me 285 equals 360. All right, now to solve for Y, I'm going to subtract 285 from both sides. So Y equals 35. Okay, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete polygon review practice and check it with your teacher.